Hi there, my name is Survey Reader and I'm with Salon Survey. It is March 29th, 2020. Um, so a lot of us around the world are staying at home right now for um, an uh, undetermined amount of time. Um, however, uh, I thought it was time for me to address my roots and I thought that I might share this video with you, all of you guys at home. Uh, for those of you who uh, can't leave your house and can't go to your hairdresser, um, I wanted to go through this process, videotape it, and hopefully it can be educational for you at home and you might be able to accomplish coloring your own hair um, in the interim until um, you can get to a licensed cosmetologist and things go back to normal, of course. So let's get started. First, we're going to start with a color cape. If you don't have a color cape, no problem. You can take a plastic garbage bag and put a hole in it and stick your head in there and then voila, you've got a color cape. If you've got a color, a formal one like me, you just snap it like so. Snap in the front. Hopefully I'll be able to do this so I can make it look easy. Um, hold on, this is might, might be a challenge. Okay, we got it. Okay, so here is my little color game. And then we're gonna put a little towel around our neck, like so. You can put a bandana, you can use a dish towel, you can use a rag, it really doesn't matter. Just something to protect your skin, like that. Okay. And then we're gonna get going. So I am using a plastic rat tail comb. Um, it's called a rat tail because this looks like a rat's tail. Um, you can use your finger if you don't have a rat tail, that's okay. I'm gonna do a four part section. So I'm gonna kinda go down the middle like this. all the way down to the nape of my neck. I'm demonstrating how I can do it on myself so that you guys can follow along at home. I promise if I can do it, you can too. All right, so here's quadrant number one. And I have little ponytail holders. This is not gonna be an attractive look, but it doesn't really matter because we are gonna color our hair. And that's all that matters. Okay. And then quadrant. Actually, number four in the back. Just put it in a little ponytail and get it out of our way. And I think everyone has ponytail holders. If you don't have a ponytail holder, you can use a clip. You can use a tie of any kind, you can use a beret, it doesn't matter. You can get really inventive. We're at home, so we have to get creative. It's creative time. All right, so now, we're gonna do the other side. Again, we're gonna take that section. Hopefully you're seeing this at home okay. Put it up in a ponytail, get it out of your way. And then of course the back one. Okay, all right, so we're ready to rock and roll. Hopefully I can do this really quickly. All right, so we've got four ponytails, so we're ready to go. Um, gloves, here are my gloves. If you don't have gloves, um, you can use dish gloves. You don't have to use gloves. I recommend gloves though, because you don't want to stain your pretty fingernails um, and or hands. So there go the gloves. Oops. There's a bracelet. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. These are my color bowls. And 
let me put this on my towel so I don't hurt my beautiful table. We're filming this from a residential living room, also known as our domestic hair salon. Okay, so here we go. So what I want you to do is take, go ahead and clean your brush, take a little bit of color on the end of your brush and kind of come at it parallel to the head. Just hit your new growth like so. Okay, so you don't have to pretend you're Pablo Picasso here, but less is more. So I, I'd rather see you use less product than too much product. But I think if I demonstrate how to do this and you watch it, and I do it on myself, you can just duplicate my steps. So we're gonna, boom, take that pony out. And we're gonna make a little part. Like that. And then my lovely videographer, Gustavo, might fast forward. He's waving to you now, but I don't think you can see him. Um, might fast forward through some of this so that you don't fall asleep and get bored. Um, but um, essentially, I just want you to see how easy this is. Because if you're at home and you've got roots, I don't want you to be unhappy and or not feel empowered with the knowledge. And this is so easy to do. The hardest part is actually determining what color to use. Um, and some of you already, you know, have color that you do yourself. Others of you that <clears throat> go to <clears throat> hair salons may not know your formula. Um, so there's a couple of things you can do in terms of determining the best color for you. You can text your hairdresser and talk to him or her. Um, if that person is not accessible, um, this is what I recommend. We all have family members that are kind of more knowledgeable than others about just beauty in general, primping, you know, the people that come to your family reunion or family gathering who have clearly spent one to two hours getting ready, those are people who I call experienced. And practice makes perfect. So all of those years that they have acquired learning all these beauty tricks, typically those are the people you're going to ask about questions like, hey, do you happen to know anything about um, formulating color? The other option, and most obvious option, is stuff like YouTube or Google itself, you know, how to formulate color. Um, and of course, we can all buy color online now. Um, our grocery stores are still open during this um, quarantine time. So um, as much as I hate to tell anyone to buy box color, these are interesting times, times where we one must get creative. So under the set of circumstances, people, I am going to approve it. So bottom line, go ahead and um, figure out what kind of color you want to use. And this is how you do it. Piece of cake. You can do it in your bathroom. You can do it in your living room like we are here. We wanted to film in the living room because this is real life. This is what we're all facing right now. We're all stuck in our homes with no access to hair salons, which is fine. So we're just creating solutions. All right, so now we're ready for our second quadrant. serious time. So we're basically hitting that top part 
again, and now we're going to section over, going into the second quadrant. So the interesting quadrant are going to be um, the back two, because obviously I can't see what I'm doing. And quite frankly, you're not going to be able to see what you're doing either. So we're in it together. And you'll see how I accomplish this. Because this is a DIY, how to color your roots in your living room or your bathroom all by yourself without anyone to help you. If you have someone to help you, it's much easier, by the way. Um, but I'm going to presume that you don't and you want to color your roots. And this is what you do. And to prepare my hair for this color treatment, I just shampooed it and didn't put any conditioner or product in it and just let it air dry. So it's nice and squeaky clean. I like to, personally, I like to color my hair when it's really clean because I feel like it takes the color better. That's just my opinion, not necessarily Everyone's opinion, but it's mine. I thought about doing this video blindfolded to show you, to demonstrate how easy this was, but then I changed my mind. Um, but it's actually really simple. I just have so many women asking me how to do this. And sometimes you take it for granted that people don't know how to do this. And if you can't imagine, if you're stuck at home, I don't want you to think that you can't accomplish this. Okay, so we have successfully gotten through two quadrants. Okay, quadrant in the back, it's out. Okay, so this, I'm gonna to try to do this so you can see. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna to have to really focus because I'm being videotaped doing this. Typically, obviously, I'm not videotaped, so I don't even care how bad it is when I do this to myself. Um, you can also put a mirror in front of you and one behind you so you can see what you're doing. But I'm doing this just kind of out of uh, habit because I've done this for so long. So we're basically going down that back quadrant. I guess what I really want you guys to see is just how my hands move. And um, kind of like what, just basically duplicate everything that I'm doing so that you can follow at home. You can even do this with me if you like. The wonderful thing about the day and age we live in is that we can have color delivered to our front door with websites online. So that's kind of nice. And that's to the public. So I don't think years ago that was something that was an option. So we're actually quite empowered today to do some of our self-care needs at home. And also, if any of you guys are on a budget, it's, um, 
it's, a, it's so nice to show you guys how to do this so you can save money if that's something that would help you. So we're basically trying to hit just that first quarter inch of new growth. I color my hair a very close color to my natural hair. So you may not see a strong line of demarcation, um, but some people, you know, for instance, have blonde hair and they color it red. Um, some people have gray hair and they uh, color it black. So you might have a stronger line of demarcation than me, but believe it or not, I've got some roots here that are about, I would say like maybe an eighth of an inch long, but I'm coloring about a fourth of an inch just to make sure I get them. I was hoping the dog would get in the video, but the dog is sleeping. I think the dog is completely bored with this process. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can to demonstrate what a speedy process this can be. Okay, so final one. Okay, last quadrant. We're almost done. Perfect. So we're working our way down that last final quadrant. And then we're almost done. And then typically we let our color process for about 30 minutes. That's, that's usually enough. And then since we're all at home right now, um, you can simply wash it out in the shower. And my recommendation would be to lean your head back and um, make sure that the water when you're rinsing off doesn't rinse forward into your eyes, but rather down your back. Um, and then you'll get the color out in no time, simply shampoo and condition as you always do. Actually quite simple. And again, if you have someone to help you at home, do this, especially in the back. That's nice, but it's not necessary. You can do this. And we're nearing the end. Perfect.